let us discuss this example so in this example we have to solve this double integration where the region is bounded by they have mentioned y is equal to 1 minus x and x square plus y square is equal to 1 so let us find the region of integration first then we will find limits of integration and then we solve the actual double of integ double integration okay so what we have we have y is equal to 1 minus x that equation we have what will i do i will shift that x on this side so we will have the equation x plus y is equal to 1. As I told you earlier, when the power of x is 1, power of y is also 1. So it represents a straight line. So this is a straight line. So let me mention here, this is a line. So to find that line, we need to have any two points on a line. So for that purpose, I'm drawing this table. Okay. So here uh, we have values of x, values of y and x, y. What will I do? I will put value of x is equal to 0 first. If I put x is equal to 0, the value of y is 1. So the point is 0, 1. After that, I will consider y is equal to 0. But if I put y is equal to 0 here, x is equal to 1. So the point is 1, 0. So one point is 0, 1, which is here, 0, 1. And the next point is 1, 0. It will be here, 1, 0. Let me join these two points. So we will have the required line. So we have this line. So let me mention here its equation of this line is y is equal to 1 minus x. What is the second equation we have x square plus y square is equal to 1. So we know that this is equation of circle with center origin and radius 1. So this is a standard equation of circle. Let me mention here this is a circle. What is its center? Center is 0 0 and its radius is 1 okay radius is 1 let me draw that circle here with center 0 0 and radius 1 okay so radius is 1 so that's why that circle will pass through these two points okay so the region is okay they clearly mentioned region is bounded below bounded below by this line that means our region lies above this line getting and uh, inside the circle inside the circle above the line and inside the circle so we get this region of integration so this is a region of integration okay so after getting region of integration we consider a strip we have two options either parallel to y-axis parallel to x-axis so here also i will consider a strip parallel to y-axis let me mention that thing here consider a strip consider a strip parallel to y axis okay let me draw the strip here so we have a strip parallel to y axis so if you have a strip parallel to y axis we should write y varies from okay y is equal to to y is equal to and x varies from x is equal to to x is equal to we have considered a strip parallel to y axis so that's why i have written in this way our funda is very simple, bounded below, bounded above, left to right. So as you can see here in a diagram, the strip is bounded below by that line. Y is equal to 1 minus X. So that's why I should write Y is equal to 1 minus X. Strip is bounded above by circle. X square plus Y square is equal to 1. But we should express in this way. Y is equal to, since I have written there, Y is equal to. So let us find that thing here. What we have x square plus y square is equal to 1. So y square is equal to 1 minus x square. We got the value of y square, but we want the value of y. So y is equal to square root of 1 minus x square. So maybe you will think when you take square root, we need to have a plus or minus signs here, getting plus and minus square root. But see, we are considering upper half of a circle where y, y has positive values. So that's why I consider uh, plus square root of 1 minus x square when we have lower half of a circle then we go for minus square root of 1 minus x square so i should mention here it's simply square root of 1 minus x square since strip is bounded above by this upper half of a circle after that our strip will move like this from left to right getting so in left it will start at this point getting it will start at this point where the value of x is 0 so i should mention 0 here strip will move like this and it should go up to this point to cover each and every point of region of integration so at that point value of x is 1 so x is equal to 1 so we have a limits via limits of y as well as limits of x so now consider uh, double integration and let us solve it okay make a screenshot of it then we will go further okay so by considering those limits 
we have got this integral okay i will consider that function also x y square our strip was parallel to y axis so that's why i wrote dy dx that means we integrate with respect to y first then we integrate with respect to x let us discuss the inner integral first so inner integration is with respect to y so all functions of x will come outside so here x will come outside so this is equal to integration 0 to 1 x will come outside integration of y square is y cube by 3 with limits 1 minus x to root 1 minus x square dx. See, we always take constants outside. So that 1 by 3, I will take outside 1 by 3 integration 0 to 1 x. I am putting upper limit 1 minus x square root means raised to 1 by 2 and we are taking cube. So it will be raised to 3 by 2 minus if you put lower limit 1 minus x cube dx. Okay. So let us solve it further. So this is equal to 1 by 3 integration 0 to 1. I will multiply huh? x 1 minus x square raised to 3 by 2 minus x. See, here I am using a minus b bracket cube formula. a minus b bracket cube is, let me write that formula here. a minus b bracket cube. It is a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube. See, this formula I am using here to expand this bracket. Okay, so what our a is equal to 1, b is equal to x. Let us use the formula 1 minus 3x plus 3x square minus x cube, right, dx. See, minus sign is there, so we can take separate, separate integration. So, this is equal to 1 by 3 integration 0 to 1 x, let me write here, x 1 minus x square raised to 3 by 2 dx minus, okay, so this 1 by 3 I am writing here, since it is multiple of both, integration 0 to 1, let us multiply x minus 3x square plus 3x cube minus x raised to 4 dx, okay. So, this integration we can easily solve, okay, since we have the formula, but we are thinking about this one, how to solve this one, okay, there is a need of substitution, so let us do it, putting, what I am going to do, putting x square is equal to t in first integral only okay in first integral see we are doing it only for first integral so you know that when we put anything we find derivative as well as we change the limits also let us do that we have a space here okay so derivative of this one is 2x after that we write dx derivative of t is 1 we write dt there so therefore x dx is equal to dt by 2 so we can replace this x dx by dt by 2. Let us find new limits for x is equal to 0 and for x is equal to 1. So let us find new limits, new values of t. If I put x is equal to 0 here, t is also equal to 0. So that means for x is equal to 0, we got t is equal to 0. If I put x is equal to 1 here, t is equal to 1. So these are our new limits. So therefore, I will be 1 by 3 new limits 0 to 1 right after that this bracket think about this bracket 1 minus t since x square is equal to t raised to 3 by 2 right and x dx we can replace it by dt by 2 okay dt by 2 after that let us solve this integration minus 1 by 3 we will integrate it okay integration of x is x square by 2 integration of x cube x square is x cube by 3 3 3 will get cancelled so we'll have minus x cube directly. Integration of x cube is x raised to 4 by 4. So plus 3 x raised to 4 by 4. Integration of x raised to 4 is x raised to 5 by 5 with limits 0 to 1. So let us use this space now. 1 by 2 is constant will come outside. So this is 1 by 6. Integration of this bracket will be 1 minus t raised to See, we add 1. So, you know the formula of integration x raised to n. x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. I am using the same formula. n is equal to 3 by 2 here. 3 by 2 plus 1, which is 5 by 2. I should write 5 by 2. And denominator also, I should write 5 by 2. But see, what is multiple of t? Minus 1. That multiple we always write in denominator. So, we will have minus 5 by 2 here with limits 0 to 1. Let us think about this one. Minus 1 by 3. I am putting upper limit 1, 1 by 2, minus 1, plus 3 by 4, minus 1 by 5. 
and when you put lower limit zero all terms will be zero so no need to consider we have reached up to this step make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us solve it further okay so purposely i kept it here so what will happen this 2 2 will get cancelled so we'll have 3 into 5 15 minus sign also will come outside so minus 1 by 15 so i have taken constants outside okay so now i'll put 1 here if i put 1 1 minus 1 0 you know 0 minus if i put 0 here we will have 1 there and 1 raised to 5 by 2 is again 1 so no need to worry we will have simply 1 minus 1 by 3 we have to solve this bracket okay so we cannot add all four terms simultaneously so 1 by 2 minus 1 you know that it is minus 1 by 2 and for next two terms need to cross multiply 3 into 5 15 minus 4 11 11 at numerator and product of denominator is 20. So this is equal to minus minus plus 1 by 15 we have minus 1 by 3. So here uh, to maintain the same denominator 20. I need to multiply this term by numerator and denominator by 10. So 10 into 2 20 having the same denominator minus 10 plus 11 1 only right. So this is equal to 1 by 15 minus 1 by 60. Okay, so I will make the same denominator. I need to multiply numerator denominator by 4. 15 into 4, 60. Same denominator and 4 minus 1, which is 3 by 60. 3, 3 cancel, 1 by 20. So this is the required answer. Okay, so let me remove this one that was the last step. So this is our required answer. So you can make a screenshot of it. And after that, we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you.